Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about following your bliss, following your joy, following your highest excitement and what feels good in life and how this truly and practically is real and possible and rather just something you hear from people like channels like Bashar or spiritual teachers like Teal Scott and lots of other people say this but now I want to get into the nitty gritty and how is this real and possible how can an ordinary average person understand this because some people might say but is doing what you enjoy only and following your highest excitement all the time how can you do this like what if can you say this to like let's say a killer do what you enjoy do what you love to do and they're like oh, I love to kill but the thing is, or what about to somebody like, somebody in really like competitions, like um, a boxer or a sports person, a performer maybe, X Factor. The thing is, so many people, they might love something, but is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, a, is it a love, like a real joy, a bliss from our higher self, which is what joy and bliss is. Or is an ego fulfillment a chase, an addictive, an addiction, or an itch that you scratch and it feels good, but it's really like not joy or bliss. It's something different. So, so the killer doesn't really feel good. They're not blissful or joyful. So that's not what we're talking about, obviously, but I want to make this distinction for deeper clarity and deeper understanding. Um, for example, it's your harmless bliss, your considerate bliss, it's caring bliss, love is bliss. For example, I was eating a little cookie there, that's vegan, <laughs> vegan gluten-free cookie, tiny one. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want to eat one of them. Because I had a little bit like less, less topping on it, and I decided to put half of it away because it just felt good. And typically, typically I I always walk onto the sunny side of the street always, or the brightest side of the street because it feels good. Um, these things are my natural daily things that feel good. Also, like Abraham Hicks and like like um. Abraham, who's the channel of Esther Hicks, says, always go to another thought that feels better than the previous thought. Move up the ladder towards what feels good. And for an average person, what we're doing is try and do this as much as we can in all of the little now moments in our day. The one moment, but it seems like many different moments. So we might fall down and now we're encouraged to raise our vibration again and think a new thought that feels better say a new word and do a new deed a new thing so let's say your mom or your parent is a controller controlling behavior what is blissful and joyful to do what's what's your highest excitement with them to not talk to them anymore is that like do something else that's more exciting no i don't want to visit you ever again because you're grumpy and <laughs> complaining <laughs> Now this thing is, if I say this thought, this word, which thoughts came before this? And if I say the sentence to your mum or your dad, is this coming, does this feel joyful and blissful to say this to you? It's not really because a lot of the time that could be, you can be saying this from a negative victim perspective where you're complaining to somebody. So that could be to a bully or someone who you have a problem with in life anybody it's not the circumstance that matters it's your being beingness that matters that's what there's a video i just watched a while ago with bashar so it's not the circumstance it's it's your beingness it's your vibration it's your energy it's your awareness is it from your heart or not from your heart when something is not from the heart it is not joyful or blissful <laughs> When it is from the heart, it's lovely. But some things, a lot, nearly everything, when it's not coming from the heart, it's not really joyful or blissful at all. It isn't. It doesn't mean it's like really negative deep down, like 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 the 
destructive or traumatic, but could be just like a little bit neutral or like a little bit exciting, but more like to the ego. For example, if you're a pop star, is a is it joyful and blissful to become famous and to get loads of money and to be have all the girls chasing you and other men? That's not really joy or bliss. That's not your higher self, which is okay. That's fine. But that's more like not feeling maybe good enough, wanting or needing more attention, wanting to have like, wanting to get like the satisfaction of sleeping with loads of people or having loads of money. This isn't bliss or joy, it, it's attached um, so-called happiness, where you're up one minute and extremely anxious or afraid or, or they're just devastated the next minute. That's not really joy or bliss or following your highest excitement. So what about... Um, Love is joy and bliss. That's, that's what I like to hammer home here and to say. Love is joy and bliss and all of its millions of faces and facets and ways of expressing love. Thinking loving thoughts. Feeling love and compassion and care and forgiveness. This is joyful and blissful. And we can do all this with our people we have problems with. They're not the problem. Our, our judgment really is the problem, really. Um, our judgment and resistance... And our maybe often is our omission of expression to change the situation which can hurt us where we feel bad about ourselves that we didn't stand up for ourselves or we didn't do better we weren't more assertive or more compassionate or whatever else we weren't kinder sometimes you might think in the past okay so so let's say um, our children want to go on holiday to the beach for the weekend and we might think, well, it might be more exciting for me to play, to play a chess match or, or, or do something different. So maybe you could say no to the children or go a different time. Or, or what about this? Like, what if you wanted to accompany your girlfriend to the, to the train station in the rain? And that could be something similar. That's what I kind of just did there with Sally. Is it joyful or blissful or exciting to be in the rain and get wet? In the coldish weather not really but you know it is joyful and blissful expressing love and care and companionship to a loved one and this is a high vibration so following your highest excitement doesn't doesn't mean at all pushing away other people and being selfish because being selfish is ego and lower self it's not joyful and expansive and blissful that's what I mean about the pop stars or people like, not every pop star, but a lot of pop stars, for example, are striving, stressing, struggling, straining, forcing, needing. It's a, it's a lonely state of um, dependency. So, I hope this brings a little bit more understanding towards you. Because... Life, I find, is never really a simple answer, like, this is easy, it's just this way, it's so simple, it's easy. Life has so many billions of facets, like, dozens of facets and parts of the equation. You usually have to think about things and figure things out and gain wisdom and study and investigate and self-investigate, especially. So, now you might know how to tackle your life a bit more, like... Let's say for me writing a book, two books, I'm kind of finished two books more or less. I'm adding, still adding to them. But I'm editing now and I don't find editing as creative or joyful as writing. But you know, I could do something different every day like, like just typing on Facebook or, 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 or sharing videos that I love or having conversations that are kind of exciting and enjoyable. And neglect the books and that's fine. If I really felt I needed and wanted more money, I could strive and struggle and this strain and me and Daniel want to do these books. I could have that energy and thoughts towards finishing the book. Books. But I can switch my thoughts to a more blissful, joyful, enjoyable, exciting, emotional state where I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to do these books, I'm going to do the editing. And I'm going to be happy and excited to do it because 
because it's gonna be so cool to be having not to be poor but to have more like financial stability and power to have a bigger party and celebrate and give things to people and not have to be like be concerned with like money in, like instabilities and not just about me and loads of other people like really like looking for like looking forward to or enjoying the books too helping helping to raise the vibration more party more joy more celebration So it's about perspective, perception, what, how we, we focus and put our attention on our perspective and attitude. Is there anything else you can think of um, to apply this to where it's practical and it doesn't seem selfish or it doesn't seem imbalanced? It should be, can be balanced. It can definitely be balanced. It revolves around inner work and hiring our vibration and healing and understanding things more and becoming more aware of our ego and our thoughts and programming and beliefs which govern all of our thoughts, our words and emotions and our vibration. So after this video, what are you going to do or what am I going to do? What, what's exciting to you? Typing a letter saying sorry could be really like fulfilling and joyful and exciting because you know it's a lovely good thing to do, not from your thoughts, but you feel it. You know it's lovely, deep down good stuff, it's like loving. And this this typically egoically might be considered to be an exciting thing to do to the egoic mind and it's the me me me, selfish me. But to the higher self, this is bliss, this is joyfulness, this is like expansion of the heart, which is the best thing I, I've experienced, expansion of the heart. So, hope this has helped you, and thanks, thanks for your time and your, your watching, and uh, your watching this, and I hope you have a lovely day. Keep having a really nice time, and thanks for attracting me into your life. Um, yeah, I believe you attracted me and I attracted you. You attracted me right now watching because you're open to, you're, you're hanging around this vibration and now you can go up more and solidify your vibration and keep raising your vibration. And um, what else? Yeah, in order for us to stay in, in a particular vibration, we need to have a consistent, continuous stream of attention and focus on what we want to experience rather than what we don't want to experience. Because if we focus on what we don't want to experience, let's say like uh, poverty, poverty, like poorness, homelessness, then this doesn't feel good. But if we realize this helps us to say, I want to, I want to experience abundance and I want to help these people and create a nicer world. Poverty and poorness and the dark shows us the light that we want to express, be and become and express. So the dark isn't really evil or bad, it shows us the light. It's in a dualistic world, they work together as a unit. So when you eliminate judging things as bad and see them for how they benefit us and focus on what you want to be and become, that's when you're experiencing and realizing and being joy and bliss and love. So stuff like healthy habits of the physical body um, and meditation help us to have the mental attention and energy to be able to continually and um, consistently focus on where we want to go and, and lovingness that is blissful and beautiful and exciting. Whereas if we got to bed really late, we need to go to bed early, like for example, earlier, eat well, juices, raw food, fruits, light eating, exercise that's happy and enjoyable and playful then we have the energy not to get lost in our ego and to be more aware of our thoughts and when we're more aware of our thoughts and do all these habits they all work together synergistically to us to remain aware and to expand our vibration instead of being sunken down by bad habits so i gotta go folks under 15 minutes much love and light and blessings to you thank you for watching uh, have a fantastic day and i will talk to you soon stay stay watching subscribe or all that stuff the nice stuff like share like and i'll see you soon okay bye